guys welcome back to the garden I hope you're blessed and doing well you want to see what's growing on in the garden so we are back from our vacation and it went really really well we had an amazing time so yeah let's take a look at what's been going on and growing on in the garden while we've been gone everything is grown up it's a hot mess out here but you know what the garden is still alive everything is not dead all is not lost let's take a look and see what's growing on so let's start right here at the TP trellis. Right here is the are the beans, asparagus and yellow beans. And over on this TP, we have the um, Kentucky Wonder Bean and some burgundy beans. So they're just starting to put on flowers and there's some worm damage. There are little worms that um, roll up the, into the leaves in here. And um, I can show them to you. Let's see. That's what they look like. They curl up in the leaves. But anyway, right here um, at this bed, these flowers are starting to slowly die back. I really think they're just really thirsty. They need water. Um, some lettuce that has gone to seed. And the sunflowers are dying back. We have some that bloomed while we were gone. These are really pretty. They bloomed while we were gone. These, as you can see, are dying back. And I just think that they're beautiful even when they start dying back. I know, call me crazy and cheesy, but I just think they are. Zinnias are still blooming. Really cool. And let's get around here. So around here is a really hard dying bed no water has gotten to this bed while we were gone and when we came back i came back to dried up dead plants so there we go that's my cauliflower i have one survivor one survivor <laughs> and i'm grateful for that those are eggplants um, that I transplanted in my mother gave me those dragon egg plants an okra plant and the cauliflowers that dried up dead This one is uh, Possible you never know it may make it who knows so I'm gonna just pull these out and um, Call it a day um, I'll replant in this bed though for the fall so over here you all know I had these beautiful beautiful cabbages and they are just so dry um, no water. I um, haven't been able to water in this bed while we were gone. Um, we have some possibilities. I don't know. don't think I'm going to be able to get ahead out of them. Not too sure. It might be too hot for them. So I'll be planting again for the fall. This bed over here. Um, I had some pumpkins that were starting. Don't know if I'm going to have any survivors. That one looks like it's not good. This bed hasn't had any water since we've been gone, but it's still alive, so that's good. And there are blooms over there. Back here on this back end where my corn is, it looks like the corn is starting to form. Down there, this bed needs to be fertilized. The corn is going all the way down on both rows. All of these carrot seeds need to be harvested and pulled out. These are some greens. Um, I believe this was supposed to be, look at the worms that I've gotten on there. But that is what happens when you're not here to take care of your garden. Um, these are beans all in here. And I am just certain that there are beans to be harvested in here. Oh yes, there are. These are purple burgundy beans. And there are Kentucky Wonder beans that these are turning into seed pods at this point. I don't know why they're they're striped. I did not plant a striped potted bean. This is a sunflower. I don't know. It's like a branching sunflower. It's doing all kind of crazy stuff. 
all right so since we've been gone the okra is massive oh my gosh it's huge so i'm gonna go in here and harvest all of this humongous because it is too big we have a lot of tomatoes as well that have fallen on the ground that need to be harvested it's so dry out here guys gotta get some water out here and the burgundy okra is starting to bloom now which is so exciting Let's see if i can get over here to it show you the bloom so pretty um yeah and it looks like we got some burgundy okra down there but it needs to be harvested it's big down here and so pretty though look at that we got some looks like some watermelon in the distance over there so i'll go take a look at that as well but super big okra this is the size that you wanted that one there i just love the okra blooms they're so pretty and the cheap the trellis over there is growing up really well let's go take a look at that over there let's see we'll go over there Ooh, it's a mess out here guys i'm sorry it's not tidy one of my favorite parts of the garden this season happens to be my raised bed here going all the way around i absolutely love it i love it and it just attracts so many butterflies they love it too <laughs> the sunflowers the sunflowers are coming in and blooming and they look so beautiful I need to strip the leaves because some of my zinnias are trying to get thrip and I need to treat them really well While we were gone on vacation, um, the cabbage worms have done a number on my greens down here. But I told you guys, I knew that was gonna happen. And it's to be expected when you're gone and you don't care for your garden. Um, but yeah, so I will definitely be out here working on this. And what I'm gonna do is just remove a lot of these leaves that are damaged and um, let them regrow. So they'll be fine. And I do still need to do some more thinning for this bed. And uh, yeah, get this bed thinned out the, so that they can grow a lot bigger. And I'll be pulling out a lot of the plants that have dried up. These are lettuce seed heads that are finished. They're done. Very, very pretty flowers in here. Lots of tomatoes that need to be harvested. So we'll harvest the rest of the tomatoes today and the rest of the beans today. The butternut squash is starting to come on. Um, it's starting to climb the vine and then we have the tomatoes that are climbing and the black-eyed Susan vine that's climbing here. It's actually climbing on both sides and hopefully it'll go up and around the top. This is the loofah. And when we came back, I saw the loofah on here. Let's see if I can find one for you guys. That's the little loofah for me. And stink bugs. You see those? Gotta get those out of here. They're mating. Let's go around here and check out the, oh, the onions. I need to pull those up. And the 
Cut Flower Garden is doing really well. It's starting to really come open. Cosmos are here, zinnias caught bright lights, and um, these are the um, marigold that um, needs to be harvested. These are the seeds. So lots of seeds there. And the bachelor buttons. The bachelor buttons are finally starting to open. I must have missed a lot of their blooms um, because I see some dried up seed heads. So this is the blue bachelor button and they are blooming all the way down with the yellow marigold. So lots of seed heads here. I do have a Love Lies Bleeding heart, no, Love Lies Bleeding amaranth um, in the garden. And I thought that was really neat. That's cool. But these little critters here, those stink bugs, you see them? But look at that straw flower. So pretty. These are all straw flowers as well. And I'm just going to encourage it to branch by taking that little center part right there. And I'm going to pinch it out just like that. Pinch it out to get some side shoots from that. And I can do the same thing with that one over there as well. I could just take it and pinch out that center part right there. Hurt some growth. And the pumpkin patch and the watermelon patch is doing really, really well. Really well. I'm so excited about it. Over here we have a coxcomb. And it's pretty, pretty massive. Um, I don't know what that bug is on there. Let's look at it. What is that? I don't know what that is. I've never seen that before. I need on gloves. And there's a here's a different color. It's pretty. These are the, the plumes. I think this one has actually been crossed with the, the comb. So as we came back, this bed here is looking quite wild and quite dry. Look at that. I will be cutting all of these back, leave the center so that they can produce more leaves. Look at that in there. Oh my gosh. So dry and so chewed on by bugs. And I think I have seeds from, from my her, um, seeds from my Hungarian poppy. That's exciting. This is a volunteer watermelon with watermelons that are growing in there and I'm just gonna let them grow and I have a lot of peppers that have dropped on the ground while we've been gone and definitely lots of them lots of them to harvest let's see if I can get around here to show you guys look at that look how big it is it's huge it's my hand so I'll harvest those today Look at that. Isn't that beautiful?
go ahead and harvest these California Wonder Bell peppers today. They've done so well. Oh, we lost one. These are the fish peppers and they are absolutely beautiful and they are hot guys they are spicy I've already eaten some of them in a few dishes and I only needed a little bitty tiny bit just a little bit of them for the dish Harvest some tomatillos. We have quite a few tomatillos, guys. These are the tomatillos. Flowers. Wash under here, guys. Look at that. I didn't even know those were under there. 
all right so i'm just looking at these squash and they're not ready yet um, the tendrils are still really really green the stems are really really green i don't think they've reached their full maturity as well they're quite small but it looks like this one right here has some like frass type of um, coming out of the squash this one looks like the cucumber beetle is inside of that one i see several holes on this one so i'm going to take it off so that's you see the the holes there that's the cucumber worm it's got inside of that one and back here guys um back here in my watermelon patch I have several varieties of watermelon, and that's another tomatillo. That one might not be any good. No, I don't think it is. I think the bugs got this one. Yep, they do. But this is a watermelon here. Um, that's looking really good. And then we have this one right here that's looking really good as well. up and down through here are green beans. There's the um, green bean and the red burgundy bush bean. I have some, um, I also have some peppers in here and it looks like they, the jalapenos have grown just a bit. So that's really good. It's so tight in here. I really believe on the next time I plant these beans, I really want to plant them with more space in between the rows because it's really tight. You can't really see in here and I don't like that at all. But nevertheless, I'm getting a lot of green beans and I'm really, really happy with my harvest. These burgundy okras are overgrown except for one. This one's overgrown. This one as well. But this one is good. So one out of three isn't bad when you've been on vacation. All right, so this basket is definitely full. Woo! This basket is full. So in this basket, we have some tomatillos, tomato, okra, the Clemson spinach and red burgundy. We have some green beans and some more underneath the tomatoes, the red burgundy and blue lake 274. We have the black zebra tomato and the Roma and the San Manzano tomato in the harvest basket, as well as a winter squash. But that one's no good because it has the um, cucumber worm in there. I just took it off to get it out of there. Let's go get the peppers now. That's it guys. This is the beautiful bountiful harvest for the day. So you guys stick around and come back to see what I do with this beautiful harvest.
We'll see you next time.